Hello viewers and welcome back to my pacifist run of Undertale. Okay, let's continue our journey. Um, the inn is so cute. Can I talk about it? Mom says a sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Oh! Obviously there was a purpose for this place, but I did not know that. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Okay. That's kind of a lot to pay, though, to get over my max HP, because my HP, theoretically, is not going to go above 20. So. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. It's totally cute. Go all the way back. Um, but I forgot where it's Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I just shuffle along. Okay. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. This one? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Sure. Fun times are so adorable. See you. What's up there? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree light horns. Oh. They started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster. Okay. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various loved ones. So cute. I want a present. Oh gosh, this kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt because all kids wear striped shirts. Stay away from me. What's up, bear? This town doesn't have a mayor. I could be the mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's undying. That's politics. I'll come back to that full cover soon. Look at that scarf! Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Crises? During this crowding lack of sunlight, I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Aww. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Aww. Um. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. The beast snow. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? What? Let's play monsters and humans. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll do it again. Hello, can I speak to... Do they even know my name? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. Oh my god! Um, I'll just listen to this for 10 minutes, thanks. <laughs> We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. Oh my god, how do I make it stop? Okay, click. Oh my gosh, that was cute. Speak. Uh, we came from here. Oh, so then I want to go to the right, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah. There's nothing to do. Can I call you? Can, can I talk to you? No. He looks like he takes his job very seriously. Alrighty. Librarby. <laughs> what up? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign isn't spelled. What are the 
yellow books. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it? <laughs> Exclamation point. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joys expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. There's a school report about monster funerals. Aww. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. This is so depressing. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. And their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Okay. Because they are made of magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. Oh. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Ooh. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, he'd be dead. Um, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp, swampland, and searing heat. Until we reach what we now call our castle. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> what about these dark criminals? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Can I climb the ladder? No. Alright, Chippy. Cough, cough. Oh, she's smoking. I mean, obviously, but I didn't notice that she was actually smoking. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Why am I trying to make you sound like bras for a monster scene? But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Look at you, monster. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving junior jungle issues. I am. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. What is prize? This mailbox is labeled the virus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Boring. Go in and talk to Papyrus first. It's locked. Oh. Okay. Oh no. It's not gonna be fun. Ah, it's so. I don't know. Creepy? I don't, I don't know. You're mad. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Yes, Papyrus? Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's problem solving. Oh, puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now! Three exclamation points. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. That is why you're called the Great Papyrus. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. Mark, you have like two friends. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh no. Papyrus?
first box away. Alright. Never insult my friend. Let's check first. Papyrus. He likes to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's me. Okay. Papyrus is cackling. Of course he is. Alright, buddy. Flirt. Turn on the charm. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feeling. Well, I'm a skeleton with a very high standards. I can make spaghetti. That is true. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you, question mark? Let's date later, after I capture you. Oh, Papyrus. I know this is gonna get hard fast. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Whatever you're wearing now is cold, dude. Let's work some more. Oh no! Let's date later! Oh man. Papyrus thinking about what to cook for his date. I think I'm just gonna keep flirting with him. Wait, I wanna see if Chex says something different. No, still says something. Okay. I move slightly up. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. You don't have ears, Papyrus! He flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting will escalate this battle. Let's date later! Papyrus st stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. I can't spare yet, though. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. <laughs> I love the blue attack. You just stare and do nothing. Oh. Oh, shoot. You're blue now. That's my attack. You're blue now. Now the jazzy rendition of the music. Papyrus is too busy fighting to get back. Let's date later. Well, I'm not gonna fight you, buddy. Crap. Papyrus has NTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Did I insult? Papyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. I don't deserve such hospitality. different things can you put behind your ear? The virus is too busy fighting to flip that. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Ah. You are thinking about that date thing, the virus. And now there's MTT brand attraction slide. I'm already trying to flirt with you, what else do you want? Don't make me use my special attack. And there's beauty yogurt? Why would you put beauty yogurt behind your ear? Yeah, I'm aware that he's fighting. I don't care. Oh, shoot. Mess that up. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Took him on now. Head of 
the royal party. You can see it now. Oh, it's a mistake. The pirate is unraveling his bones. able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. Literally. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. You want me a dog bed? Too small to sleep on. Look, some kibble. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. And the bone. It's a squeaky chew toy. Bloop. Out of here. Alright, Betty. I suppose this proves what I said. We really are bound together. Two bones in the skeletal anatomy of fate. That's how you appear here now, <laughs> even though it's very Im impossible for you to escape. I think it's very possible, seeing as I did. I feel a sincere... Wait a second. You're supposed to be locked up. I still have to capture you. Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> oh, no. First to the fighting guys. the facilities all while we were fighting not only will you be trapped but you won't even want to leave it's a note from Paris. please ask before you escape <laughs> when you went missing i got worried sick but you still wanted to fight me slightly bone traveled well how do i ask you we don't have a phone to talk again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti if you did. It's only natural that you would want to see me, I do, and the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. So you're gonna make some? Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. What justice? Now you wanna make me some spaghetti? I'm just gonna let him attack me to escalate this. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. <laughs> I know, buddy. I do, though. Sometimes I can't do it right. I like how he gave me a tip. 
pretend like he's my special guy. Okay. You are persistent. But it just won't work on me. I am the persistentest. And if you think you are persistent, Mr. That is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Wrong on so many levels. Because the correct form would be not as persistent persistentest as papyrus. I'm not even trying to do it this time. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I did not. He just wasted my time. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host. So cute. Let's talk it out, buddy. It's locked. What? Why is it locked? Uh oh. How do we go on a date if it's locked? Oh, maybe it's here? You're back again. I finally realized the true reason why you want spaghetti. Just missing my face so much. I'm not sure if I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. No. Okay, I guess I'll accept my failure. We can be friends. I can't even stop someone as weak as you, and I'm going to be disappointed in you. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass the gate, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cabin. Then, when you reach the castle, cross the barrier. It's a magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier of a soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, please don't kill me. Excuse me, Mr. Drummer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's no talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Did he just walk through the trees? What happened? Alright, let's go have our date. I'm very curious as to how this is going to go. Is this still locked? Please don't enter the mysterious shack. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's where I was being trapped, right? Probably. What up, buddy? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Getting my steps in today. My house! Um, okay. Alright. So I see the flames coming out of Sansa. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. What is this? Oh, it's a kitchen. Oh, he looks like he's following me. I think he doesn't want me to come here. Why is the sink so tall? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Are, are you serious? Curses. <laughs> He's in there, but it's on fire. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Wait, I want to see what else is in here. Stove? Wait. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. Quiche? 
Well, they're filled with a sugary non-egg salt. How absurd. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. In the fridge. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Why is there chips in the fridge? Alright, wait, I'm not done, Papyrus. I'm gonna look at everything. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. <laughs> you moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And <laughs> don't bring it back. Okay. <laughs> it's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh my gosh. Can I watch something? <gasps> it's Metaton. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for our new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. That was adorable. You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20. Cool. Wait, I'm not done for Paris. It's a joke book. Oh, God. Take a look inside. Yeah. Inside the joke book is a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. How thick is this book? You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wait. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Alrighty. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. That sounds so creepy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Is that... Yeah. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. In the words of the Powerpuff Girls, it happened today! Even though it basically just happened. Wait, race car bed. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Nice. Let's check out this computer, man. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower account. Of course, fame has a steep price. The jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Really? I have no idea who that could be. What's in the closet? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, nice. Uh, books? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Constructing for Critical Minds. The next book's another favorite of mine. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. And the posters. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. And let's see. The action figures? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for a great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smelly man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. All right. So, um, we just have to stay the rest. You've seen everything. Do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. <laughs> His facial expression. Here we are on our date. In your room, creepily enough. I've actually never done this before. Gone on a date. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official table book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the 
C on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem, <laughs> we're already on the date. Human, I, the great Cyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Is he gonna change? Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. Oh yeah, I forgot I was wearing a bandana. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? Is he blushing? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. Your dating power. Oh. What? Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. Attention. <laughs> I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. What? Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Oh my god. Cool, dude. A genuine compliment. <laughs> oh my god. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The state won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Uh, okay. Humans will return once but the soles of our shoes on the other hand are about the same. My hands will tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Okay, I'm not even going to. Uh, I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating art. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Oh, a present for me? Oh my god. I'm kind of scared. Do you know what this is? Um, no. That's right. You have no idea. Through this, though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef the Virus. Amen. It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. What? I don't know. What do I do? Do I eat the. Do I eat it? Let me take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. No one can love you more than you do. Ah. Ah. No. Uh oh. What? Yeah, man. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. <laughs> Can't hide it any longer. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. Thanks, Papyrus. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, not the great Papyrus. I, I, um. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. What about all of the cologne and MTT brand 
powder and yogurt. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. Why, you were psyched for the date, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. The dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have the lips. I was just thinking, um, how would you even kiss me? And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically, of course. Well, gotta go. All right. Can I try for Sam's again? Come on, buddy. Alright, so now I can pass through. peaceful over here. Alrighty. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Over and over. <laughs> over and over again. Oh, this kid. I don't even want to talk to him. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. Uh -huh. Unsupervised child. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Not a lazy bones like you. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Like he's doing anything there anyway. I'm going to grill these when I come. I will do that in the next episode. How pretty the waterfall is. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Save. Alright guys, that is it for this episode of Undertale. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.